Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. With you tuning in on the Radio Dollar Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM, through our good friends at WPBQ 94.3 FM, as well as through our online affiliates around the world. We appreciate all of you being with us as well. We have an amazing treat for you all today, for you music lovers out there. Ms. Alpha Anderson is making her first appearance on our program. Many people know her, of course, because of being one of the original lead vocalists from the group Chic. But this year, she's released her own project. It's called Music From My Heart. You guys will be hearing one of the selections from that project, a song called Perfectly Chic, and we'll be letting you all know how you can stay connected with Miss Anderson and kind of keep up with all the great things she has going on. Miss Anderson, hello to you and welcome to the program. Hi, Cyrus. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine. You know, my my mom is so jealous that I get a chance to talk to you, <laughs> Miss Anderson, because when I mentioned that you were going to be on, and, and of course she knew who you were, uh, you know, automatically, which says a whole lot, I think, about the, the, you know, the people you've been able to reach. I mean, you have fans literally across this country and around the world who are familiar with your voice, familiar with your music and your story. What has that been like for you to not only to connect with so many people, but to know that your music has impacted them? It's been an incredible experience and an experience that I didn't fully appreciate in the moment. It was after the fact that I began to really understand and see how powerful uh, a connection that we made, those of us who were in Chic at the time with fans around the world. And then when I began to be present on social media, that's when I really, it just, it, it just expanded exponentially because you could reach so many more people, so many different places all around the world. And I began to get all of these stories and, and all this love from people. So it, it's, it's grown, my appreciation and my just astonishment at it. And I'm extremely humbled by it. Hmm. And now to have this year, to have I mean, your own project, your solo project, a uh, project, again, as I mentioned, called Music From My Heart. And I think when people hear it, I was able to download it through our partners at Amazon.com. And the single we'll be hearing, Perfectly Chic, is actually number two on the project. And we'll remind our audience later how they can get their own. I mean, did you feel as though now was just the time, Ms. Anderson, for you to let people know the music that was in your heart? Absolutely, um, because people were asking. E- even my family was saying things about it. My my husband was saying, you need to do this. My sons were saying, you need to do this, because my son is a manager of a big box store, and whatever station that they play always has the chic stuff, and he says it never fails. Whenever those songs come on the radio, people invariably, inevitably rather, just start dancing and they'll start talking to each other and talking about where they were and what that song meant to them. And it brings back memories for them. And so he says, you know, there's a lane for you and you really need to go out and, and, and do your thing because people still remember you and they still love you. They still care about you. And it's because of, of, of that family love that I got and uh, the people on Facebook and, and other social media platforms that just began to tell me how much they appreciated me that I began to do it and I started thinking about it and I said you know I really do have some things that that I'd like to say I have some experiences that I want to share and I want to let people know where I am and what's going on in my life right now so it sort of all came together in a perfect way in the perfect time space sequence yeah and I'm so glad you mentioned that about uh, about your son because I think, especially in the world we live in today, Miss Anderson. I mean, people are able to just like I know our audience here in Mississippi as well as our online audiences. They're listening to this. They'll be googling uh, your name. <laughs> they will be pulling up the music, you know, and yes. you know, and being able to purchase <laughs> it while we're having this conversation. I mean, could you have imagined it? You said something. You said something interesting in the beginning of this conversation that you didn't really fully see all that you were doing at the time. I mean, now that you're able to kind of step back and look at it do you still have those wow moments where you kind of are like oh my goodness we really did a whole lot when it comes to impacting the, the landscape of music i do i do have those moments and uh, you know i've been in several books i mean james arena wrote a book about um, people of that era and devoted an entire chapter to me at the time like i said i'll have to I'll, i'm going to share this story when we were um 
actually, I thought we were in our heyday, and we were in our heyday. And I told my mom, I said, Mom, this group I'm in uh, is doing extremely well. It's called Chic, and we have songs out. And we're, and she says, no, you're not. You're not doing well. And I said, no, we actually have a number one song. She says, no, you don't. And I said, why are you saying that? She says, because it's not in Jet. That <laughs> at the time... <laughs> <laughs> that in the time at the time was the place where people got their information. You know, it wasn't yeah. about billboard, it wasn't about any of those things. It's like if you made jet in that our community, in the African American community at that time, that's when they figured that you had made it. So the fact that I have all of this love and people know about me all over the world is a, a leap forward miles ahead of where we were. But I'm always excited and humbled, as I said before, when I hear about the impact that that group had and still continues yeah. to have. Right. I think that is so true. You know, you um, uh, speaking of social media on Facebook on October the 10th, Ms. Anderson, you made a post uh, where you were actually uh, on the stage performing, and one of the things that you did in referencing this new project, Music from My Heart, I mean, you, you said, you know, I'm saying yes to my desire, are you, was the question um, that you posed. I think to be able to, to realize what your passion is, to be able to realize what is it that drives you has to be such a great feeling. You know, have you gotten used to the idea of being able to, by your own example, show other people what's possible for them in their own careers and lives. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that that I'm I'm passionate about. You know, particularly someone. Of, I mean, you know, I'm a woman of a certain age, and I'll put clear quotes around it. Of course, the information's out there, so it's not real a real secret. You know, but you know, I want people to understand that. You can live your passion, and you you can do that at any age. Age is a is a number, but the concept of age is a social construct. The way we feel about it in this society, it's it's been it's been constructed, and there are lots of people who are boomers. I will say that I'm a baby boomer. There are lots of baby boomers who are, I feel, a lot more with it and a lot more on top of things than I think. My parents were hmm. at this particular age in my life, and I really want people to see that you can still do what you want to do. Like you have all the time. You were born with all of the time you're ever going to have in this world. Right. <laughs> so you might as well use it, use it to your advantage. And, yes, you do want to grow older, but you don't want to age. Hmm. Wow. There's that's, a difference. That's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. And and I think for people to realize that and I think for them also to understand that it's never too late. And and I'm interested again going back to the timing. I mean, because I think people will look at you and look at this body of work and as a song we're we're gonna hear perfectly she kinda of shows, you're able to kinda of take that stroll down memory lane. I wanna to talk to you about what that experience was like for you. I wanna say for those who are first tuning in here on the radio dial as well as online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome Miss Alpha Anderson to our program today. You know her of course, uh, because of the group but this year she's celebrating the release of her solo project. The project is called Music from My Heart. It's available now through our partners at Amazon.com or through your favorite online retailer. You all can get it there. We'll remind you a little bit later. Let's talk about this single, Perfectly Chic, Miss Sanderson, because when I first heard the song, of course, you kind of take us through this history. I mean, what was it like for you to kind of now have this view where you're able to kind of step back and really look at what this group did and the impact it had? It was an incredible experience. When I started right working this project, it just started as a labor of love. I had no idea that it was going to reach the magnitude that it's reached so far. I just mm-hmm. wanted to document my life, what are some of the things that I've gone through, and pay tribute to those that have helped me get to this place, uh, Sheik being very much one of them, and, and then Luther Vandross, the other earlier song that yeah. I wrote, When Luther Sings, um, because it's because of those two experiences that I've been able to get here and I said well I've got to pay somehow pay homage because I'm a strong believer that we all stand on the shoulders of the people that came before us and that we that we live in a collaborative world that we don't get where we are by ourselves that there always there's always somebody out there helping us and I wanted to somehow express that and I thought the best way to express that without being extremely didactic about it was to just pay pay homage to those two 
individuals or one group and one individual that supported me to be where I am. So that was my thinking. And now, of course, people are able to be able to take this song to be able to enjoy this new music, but also reflect on what you've been able to do. For those who have not had a chance to hear it, here is Perfectly Chic by our guest, Ms. Alpha Anderson. We'll be back with more of our conversation with Ms. Anderson right after this. by recording artist Alpha Anderson. We've been talking to Miss Anderson today not only about her musical journey, but also what it's been like for her to be a part of so many people's lives. I think the other thing about you that you've been doing by example, uh, Miss Anderson, more so than what you say, is that you have been definitely living your life and, and really showing, as you were saying earlier, about the importance of actually doing something that matters. And, and doing that, as I mentioned earlier, you've been able to show other people you know, uh, you know, that, that they 
can do the same thing. I want to ask you about the audience. I had a chance to talk to to Nell Rogers on this program just a couple years ago about his book, uh, where he kind of you know chronicled his journey. He mentioned the course Chic there as well. You know, to know that you're able to have people of different generations, of different skin colors. Um, you know, it definitely, you know, has to be a humbling thing. Do you really think that shows the power that music has, like very few things to be able to bring people together? Absolutely. Music or the arts, you know, because writing brings people together and dance and, and song and music and food. <laughs> Those right, are the right. things, you know, there are lots of there are lots of cultural things that bring us together but but music is definitely one of the things that brings us together. When I was I was principal of of a New York City high school and one of the things one of the programs that I had is I had a friend of mine come in who was a percussionist and he had students clap rhythms, and the difference in the accents let you know where the rhythm came from. And people were really enlightened and wonder, enlightened by his presentation, but really, really happy to see that if you played an accent this way, then it was an African rhythm. If you played it this way, it was a Latino rhythm. If you played it this way, you know that the rhythm came from South America, or it came from Japan, or it came from Europe. And so that way kids were able to see in real time just with the instruments and the rhythmic patterns that we really are one people in different places, like, and there's unity in our diversity. And I think that's such a powerful, powerful uh, message. And music says that better than almost anything. Well, I tell you, I, th- I think, you know, that is, you know, really, I mean, the, the thing for for everyone, you know, to think about, you know, and, and I think, too, that's why people turn to music, um, which is why, you know, it's, it's one it's one of those things that, you know, does kind of, especially in the world we're living in today, give us something to be able to look forward to and to and to hope for as well. When people do listen to music from my heart, uh, Ms. Anderson, what is your hope that this project does for them, not only in letting them know who you are, but also leaving them with as well when they finish? Well, I hope that it inspires them. You know, and I hope that it inspires people to look into their own hearts to like. Sometimes, sometimes you just need to. When I wrote this, I had to unplug. You know, as much as I love television and social media, I had to unplug for a moment and listen in the stillness, in the quiet, and listen to my heart and hear what actually was going on inside of me. I hope that there's something in there that makes people reflect. Definitely, I want people to dance. I want people to feel like they're not alone because that's one of the most, I think, one of the best things about music. Um, Sometimes we're insular and we feel that, wow, nobody feels the way I'm feeling. Nobody knows what I'm going through. Au contraire, we are so connected. And if somebody reflects, dances, laughs, sings, and says, wow, you feel that way, I feel that way too, then it's all worth it. It's all worth it to me. Do you still, I mean, considering what you have been able to do already, even before this year, Ms. Anderson, was there any fear that came with this solo project? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I just wrote about it. You know, uh, I, I, I had fear of ageism. I had fear of sexism. I had fear of, oh, well, there, there are going to be challenges. And am I, am I going to be able to overcome those challenges? You know, those are all of the things that come up for me, and they come up for a lot of people in different ways. But one of the things I learned in my journey is that you can be afraid of something, but do it anyway. Talk about it. Share that experience, and it becomes a lot less intimidating. I tell you that that is that is the thing that I think so many people. I'm so glad you shared that because I think people can learn from that as they're looking at, at at making decisions for themselves, you know, and things that may stop them, you know, to to just do it. Um, as I yeah. love to hear Oprah Winfrey say, just do it afraid, you know, <laughs> because you never right, know what's right, going to exactly. happen. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You you you've got to do it. I mean, I I remember when I was singing when I was singing background with Chic with all these wonderful singers like Luther Vandross and Michelle Cobbs and Fonzie Thornton and Diva Gray. You know, the list just goes on and on. And and I, you know, it's definitely not an exhaustive list. But I came from a southern town to New York where people had been studying and training to be singers. 
I wasn't studied that way. But I get, began to meet them and see the way they worked. And when I would get in the middle of them, sometimes I would feel like, wow, my voice is very different. I don't have what they have. But one of the things I realized is that my uniqueness was not a weakness. It was actually my strength. Mm, yeah. Wow. I'll tell you, that's it, and that that is a great reminder for us all. Well, thank you so much for sharing the gift that you have with all of us. We're so excited for you and the new project. Again, Ms. Alpha Anderson has been our guest. The new project is called Music From My Heart. It's available now wherever you buy your music online, so make sure you all do get it for yourself. Also, the single you guys heard here is Perfectly Chic. You all can download that single from there as well. And make sure you all are following Ms. Anderson. You can find her all over the Internet. Her official website, though, is www.officialalphaanderson.com is where you can go to be able to stay connected with everything going on with her. And then, of course, make sure you all are following her on Twitter, at Alpha Anderson, and then, of course, uh, through her Facebook page as well. Ms. Anderson, it really has been a pleasure. I appreciate the time. I know this is a, a busy time for you. And, look, it goes without saying, you're welcome back here anytime. I look forward to having you back again. Thank you. Love being back and we with think- you. Oh, well, thank you so much for that. And we thank your audience for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Live. If you all came in late and missed part of the conversation with Ms. Anderson, don't worry. Thanks to our online friends, you all can catch the replay right after we go off the air. The link is already available through our social media sites. So head over to Facebook.com slash Cyrus Webb or go to Twitter.com slash Cyrus Webb. If you click on the link there, you can listen to the show completely for free and share with your friends from there, too. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. You all make it a great one.